Mobile devices are widely used not only in private life, but in business. Smartphones enable us to do business everywhere, to access corporate data and to stay in contact with our co-workers. But who wants to run around with multiple devices all the time? Lots of employees do, as the employer gives them a corporate standard phone that they don't like. That's why more and more companies move to a bring-your-own-device policy, where the employees are fully responsible for their devices and by their own, normally company-sponsored. But the company needs to ensure that bring-your-own-device does not turn into bring-your-own-disaster. So somehow personal needs need to be separated from business needs. Some solutions are offering this on the device, but they negatively affect usability and make it a headache, again, for the company to manage. And the data is on the device, no matter how well it is protected or encrypted. A cleaner, better way is to completely separate the business usage through a virtual mobile infrastructure. There, the mobile operating system is on corporate servers, while the client on the phone does nothing else than enabling the communication with the server. As the solution does not force users to run a desktop operating system onto their mobile devices, but provides a common mobile user interface, multi-touch and everything you need for business, the acceptance is high. Most important, the data is never stored on the device, but stays on the corporate servers. Think about hospitals, where doctors could use the tablets to access central servers, work with the patient data like normal. And there's never a risk that the data leaves the hospital, because it never does. With connectivity everywhere, that's a way to enable bring your own device in a safe and acceptable way. The company does not touch the private information on the phone, but protects their business assets.